Alrighty guys, I hate the fact that I have to be making this video right now. Trust me guys, as a Patriots fan, I do not deal with losing very well. Clearly, we did not lose a lot under the Tom Brady era, but now we have Cam Newton under center, and at the beginning of the season, guys, I was extremely optimistic. But today, folks, Cam Newton headed to the bench after poor play against the San Francisco 49ers, causing Jarrett Stidham to step up and come in and play. Let me make this very clear, both quarterbacks played apps. Absolutely terrible. This was one of the worst New England Patriots offense outings I think that I have ever seen in my lifetime. And because of this loss, it drops the New England Patriots to two and four. Absolutely crazy to me. First of all, please do subscribe if you enjoyed the video to make sure you don't miss any future uploads. It really helps us out and allows us to continue to make content for you guys. So like I said, guys, the Patriots did lose to the 49ers at a score of 33 to six. An absolute just domination from the 49ers. And if I'm not mistaken, that was the worst loss that the Patriots have suffered under the Belichick era, and it may have been even longer before then. On top of all of that, this is the worst start to a season since starting in the 2000 NFL season when they started 0-4 in Tom Brady's rookie year. It is the year 2020, and we are now back to 2000 New England Patriots status. Cam freaking Newton. I expected you to come in and lift this team up, put them on your shoulders, and I expected to see Super Cam again. I love this guy at Auburn. I, I enjoyed watching him in Carolina and he came to New England and showed out in the first few weeks and just the man looks washed. I'm just going to say it. The man looks washed. Newton went 9 of 15 this week for 98 yards and 3 interceptions. Yes guys, I said 3 interceptions before he was benched. Since Cam has come to New England, he's thrown for 714 yards and 2 touchdowns and 2 interceptions in the first 5 games. How he played today is absolutely unacceptable. You can't blame that on the skills position. You can't blame that on the offensive line. The only person that you can blame today for how bad that offense did was Cam Newton. There was about four or five plays where Cam Newton could have closed his eyes and thrown it downfield without even looking for a receiver. It was that awful. And honestly, guys, this really made me think that after nine years with the Carolina Panthers, maybe they were on to something with letting Newton walk. I mean, I liked him in Carolina. I don't know why they let him go. I was really kind of upset for him. I defended him. I talked about him. I gave him some hype. And then he came to New England and I was absolutely stoked. And the first two weeks, like I said, guys, were amazing. And it just has been a nightmare ever since. Cam Newton came to New England and I expected him to be able to hop on and be the savior of the Patriots after Tom Brady left. Like I said, I thought I was going to be seeing Super Cam. But with the lack of skills players, with the lack of, it seems like everything on this team, Cam Newton just can't get it done. One of my biggest gripes with the Cam Newton Belichick relationship is I feel like Cam Newton should be able to run a little bit more than he has been. Cam Newton lately has been sitting back in the pocket and waiting to get sacked. This guy does not roll out and look for the opportunity to run because I'm sure Bill Belichick pulled him aside and said, hey dude, you cannot run and get injured. Let's keep you safe. But it's ultimately been a downfall for the Patriots, not utilizing Cam's rushing ability, which I'm going to be completely honest, is not the most amazing in the league, but is very good, is causing the Patriots Patriots offense to not be able to produce. Taking away that dual threat ability from Cam Newton allows people to focus on the pass and run game more often with taking attention away from Newton. Now regardless how Cam Newton played today with his 98 yards and three picks, just an awful showing. Bill Belichick came out and said that he is absolutely the starter moving forward. This came out not too long ago. Even after the awful showing by Cam Newton, Bill Belichick ensured that Cam Newton is going to retain that starting position. But it leads me to ask the question, does Bill Belichick have any faith in Jared Stidham because every time that Jared Stidham has to come in, it's either garbage time or the Patriots are doing awful, which either leads me to believe that the Patriots don't want to start Stidham or Stidham just really isn't that good. Now, I'm personally leaning more towards the not that good side, seeing how he's played every time he's come onto the field. It's been very rough. And speaking of rough, when Stidham did come in after Cam Newton was benched in the fourth quarter, I believe, he followed it up by going 6 of 10 with 64 yards and an interception. Stidham wasn't the answer either. So this really concerns me as a Patriots fan and as somebody who watches the Patriots in the QB room. The Patriots do not have an answer in the QB room. Stidham is not the answer. Cam is not looking to be the answer. And I'm going to be completely honest. I think the Patriots are missing Tom Brady a little extra today. What makes all of this sting just a little bit worse is that the loss came at the hands of the guy that the Patriots traded away in order to keep Tom Brady happy, Jimmy Garoppolo. 
came in and absolutely sauced it up on this New England defense that looked like a complete joke. Like everyone was open, everything was happening. They punted once during the entire game, Jimmy Garoppolo absolutely torched the New England Patriots. And if you look at it at a certain angle, you could honestly say it might be a revenge game. Bill Belichick wanted Garoppolo to be the future. Bill himself wanted Garoppolo. However, Tom Brady and Robert Kraft had a pretty close relationship, and Robert Kraft wanted Tom Brady to stay and Jimmy to go. And I feel like nowadays the Patriots are sitting back, watching the film after today, and saying, we should have kept Jimmy. This guy is great at managing the game. He's great at putting the ball into the hands of his receivers, but I don't know how much better he would have done if he did stay in New England and take over for Brady, especially if we have all of the same weapons that we have today. I feel like no matter who is in this system, until we decide to invest in more weapons, this Patriots offense is going to continue to struggle mightily. I really do think that they should be looking ahead to the 2021 NFL Draft. They need to look into drafting another quarterback, and if we want to keep Cam and really put our money into somebody that hasn't been producing that well, we have to look into weapons for this guy to throw to because having Nikhil Harry who has not been great, having Jacoby Myers, an undrafted free agent out of NC State, having Julian Edelman, a 34 year old slot receiver out there is not going to be the answer to a successful offense. What I find absolutely astounding is that the Patriots are now sitting at a 2-4 and four record. We are sitting behind the Miami Dolphins. Like, come on. I'm going to be honest, I'm very scared for the future of this team and I just do not believe that Cam Newton is the the answer. Now, I don't want to doubt Cam Newton. He has overcome a lot more adversity than I ever thought he could, so maybe he will turn it around and maybe we'll be okay. However, the chances of the Patriots making the playoffs this season are looking extremely slim. Let me know what you guys think about this New England Patriots offense and if they're just done. Is this the end of the dynasty? 110%. There's no light at the end of the tunnel. They just have to start from scratch. Let me know if you think that down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you do subscribe if you enjoyed the video and if you want to stay up to date with Jackson and I, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. We love interacting with you guys and appreciate the support.